Hi, this is Jenny. Thanks for stopping by the Unconventional Homestead. Tonight, I'm making eggnog. It's one of my all-time favorite Christmas treats. And this is for the collaboration with Pike Creek Farms for the 12 Days of Christmas Indulgence. It's going to be awesome. And if you've never made eggnog, you don't even know how good it can be. So join me. I am making a much smaller batch than my mom always made. I'm also making it keto, but I will give you the recipe for the real version um, so that you can make it for your family. Also, my mom's recipe says you can add rum or rum extract, and we've never done that. It also says nutmeg, and I like to just put a little dash of nutmeg on the top. So I'll show you all of that. But if you have a few eggs, you have either half and half, cream, milk, some sugar, you're set. So the first thing you do is separate your eggs. My recipe calls for four. I've already separated three of them because I thought you don't need to see that. But I love this egg separator. I think I've showed you this before, but this has probably done hundreds, multiple hundreds of dozen of eggs. I, I, we use a lot of eggs. These are duck eggs but you can use whatever eggs you have. Um, we're separating them because the yolks go into a bowl and we're gonna mix the sugar with this. The whites get put in my food or my KitchenAid and they will get whipped. So let's put those in there. And don't be intimidated by whipping egg whites. It is a patient thing. But the other thing that I do, even if the recipe doesn't call for it, is I use just a little bit of cream of tartar. It increases the likelihood of your success of getting stiff peaks. So when I start it, just like with anything else, I'm gonna go slow until it gets mixed in and then I will pick up the pace. So that cream of tartar is already mixed in. I've read that you can't overbeat egg whites. I'm a little skeptical, but anyway. So the four egg yolks, a half a cup of sweetener. Now, my mom's recipe calls for Cool Whip. I'm gonna be making some whipped cream after I get the egg whites done because I'm just gonna use the same bowl. It'll be fine. If you've never made your own whipped cream, that's decadent right there. Um, so, we'll be mixing it all in this bowl right here. This is where I'll be serving it from. I have a ladle, I have my nutmeg ready, because really, it's not too difficult once it all gets uh, mixed in together. I'll bring you back when the egg whites are ready. So I wanna show you that is good. And then all we do is we're gonna scrape this into this bowl. And I'm actually also going to add the two kinds of milk. I add two cups of cream and two cups of almond milk. My mom's calls for half and half in whole milk. Um, but again, use whatever you like. It's not a problem. I'm gonna use the same bowl to make the whipped cream. And so I have one and a half cups 
of cream. And I'm also gonna add the powdered sugar to this, and it's just a quarter of a cup. I use, if you're keto or low carb, I love the Sucrin uh, powdered sugar. Um, but again, personal preference, you can powder your own. I use powdered so that um, it's not granulated. Again, start it out slow till you get powdered sugar mixed in. Then you can turn it all the way up. I go to 10, not a problem. And it's not gonna take that long. I'll bring you back as soon as it's ready. With the with the egg whites, I told you that you couldn't overbeat them. That's what I've read and I never have, and I've let it go before. But with whipped cream, you can. Ask me how I know. I was probably seven or eight years old. The night before Thanksgiving, I always stayed at my great aunt and uncle's, Aunt, aunt Nettie and Uncle Fred. And they would host the family Thanksgiving and Christmas Eve. I don't know who would think that a seven or an eight year old would be able to make whipped cream and know what they were doing, number one. But number two is, remember, I, that would have been in the 1970s. Pull up was the thing. Like I had never knew there was a difference. All I knew was pull cool with. So needless to say for the pumpkin pies, my uncle Freddie only wanted whipped topping and he got butter. So that you do need to be careful with whipped cream. You do want to whip it, but you don't want to whip it to the point of butter. So here it is. It looks wonderful and we will mix that in in just a minute so what i have in this bowl are our eggs and our sugar i have the egg whites and then i'm putting in two cups of cream and two cups of almond milk and you do want to make sure you're scraping the bottom because that's where the eggs and the sweetener were sitting that you mixed. Now, I know this is eating raw eggs, but <coughs> excuse me, I'm 55 and I've probably had this eggnog every year. And Anthony and I, as you know, if you've watched our video on ice cream, we, um, we eat raw eggs all the time. Okay, so then now this will be enough for Anthony and I for a few days. Um, my mom's recipe, just to give you an idea, the original recipe has 12 eggs. So I'm doing one fourth of the recipe. So the, the container she always made it in was the super big um, Tupperware bowl. Um, and then she'd usually transfer it to a punch bowl or something. Me, I would just make it in the punch bowl. That's, that's just me. I'm not doing any more dishes than we have to. Cause you know, if you bake a lot, making from scratch, preserve your own food, you're doing a lot of dishes yourself anyway. Okay. These are the mugs, our soup bowls that I always fill. And again, just like soup, go to the bottom so that you get some of everything. Here's my ground nutmeg. I just think it looks pretty. Now, a lot of times when I cook for you guys, I don't try it, but I'm gonna try it. Mm. There is nothing. This is the taste of Christmas and I usually don't make it this early. So thank you to Pike Creek Farm for inviting any YouTube channel to join the 12 Days of Christmas Indulgence collaboration. I am so happy to be a part of it. Not only because I get to be a part of a collab, but 
I get to have my favorite eggnog. So thank you for stopping by. Thank you for subscribing. Hopefully you'll come back and see what other things that we have. And until next time, please make sure you're preserving your food.